everyone, Antoinette here. Don't you hate it when people can't remember your name? And sometimes it's because, well, you've got an uncommon name. Sometimes it's because you've got a common name. But we also know what it's like to be on the other side when we're trying so hard to remember somebody else's name and we've forgotten it. So I'm going to talk to you today about five ways that you can help people remember your name. The first way that you can help people to remember your name is by just giving your first name. Now, most of the time we do this in a social setting, but sometimes professionally, we feel like we have to give our first and last name just because it sounds more professional and that's what we're used to doing. But unless your name is just a one syllable for your first and one syllable for your last, it's a lot for other people to remember. So in most situations, all you need to do is give them your first name because it's less information for them to remember. Secondly, and this is for those of you who have longer or sometimes unusual names like myself, Antoinette, you need to slow down when you say your name. I can remember I used to get so frustrated because nobody could ever remember my name. But the way that I introduced myself would be, hi, I'm Antoinette. I would say it so quickly and I would just run over the syllables. And so how could anybody really not only remember it, but really even understand what I was saying? So now when I introduce myself, I say, hi, I am Antoinette. I make sure and slow it down. Very important to do if you've got a long name or a name that is unusual. The third thing that you can do, and do not fast forward over this part because you might think that this is just kind of silly and you've heard it before, but I'm starting really to become a firm believer that this really works. And that is give people an association. I used to think this was kind of silly to do, but then I started realizing it really does work. No matter how common, how short, or how unusual your name is, find some kind of association. Nearly a year ago, I was at the Hartsfield-Jackson International Airport here in Atlanta where I live, and a clear agent was helping me get go through security. And I asked him his name, and he said it's Dijon, like the mustard. Okay, that's kind of catchy, and it's like, oh, okay. But you know what? Every time I go through TSA and I see Dijon, I remember his name all because he said, like the mustard. So even if your name is as common as Bill, say, my name is Bill, like the dollar. Yeah, it sounds a little silly, but it works. So use it to help people to remember your name. My husband and I have developed this into kind of a, a funny joke when we meet people and we're introducing ourselves as a couple. I will introduce us by saying, my name's Antoinette like the queen and he is John like the toilet. And then John says, actually it's John like the throne. And it always gets a laugh, but people remember our names. So don't discount giving an association with your name. If you're liking this video, I hope you will press like and I hope you will subscribe to my channel for more videos about communication and confidence. Number four and number five are really about helping someone in case you may wonder if they've forgotten your name. First of all, number four is when you're ending that initial conversation with someone, you can remind them of your name, even if you're not sure if they got it. So what you could do in this situation is say, Antoinette, Rebecca. Rebecca, it was so nice talking to you. So you're giving your name, you're saying their name, and you're saying their name in a sentence. And it's gonna help you remember their name more as well. And number five, I used to be horrible about this until my husband reminded me that I really did need to help people out, especially with a name as unusual as mine. And that is the next time you see the person, unless they say your name, just assume that they forgot it. So all you have to do is say, hi, I'm Antoinette. I met you last week. 
So you're saving them at the beginning of the conversation. If they did remember it, they'll go, oh yeah, I remember your name. And if they don't, they're probably not gonna say anything, but they're gonna be pretty thankful that you helped them remember it. Do you have some creative ways that you help people remember your name? I would love for you to share those in the comments and I would love to hear what you share. Thanks for watching.